Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. It's time to continue on with the U.S. campaign on Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Before I get into today's mission, I just wanted to talk about something real quick. Uh, if you watched the last episode, uh, you know that I had an issue with some of my units disappearing after the battle. Apparently, that was a known issue that was fixed with the latest patch, the patch that actually came out today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replay the mission, uh, the Rice mission that I just did in the last episode. I'm not going to record it again, so you're not going to watch it. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can come out of there with all of my units intact so I can be much better set up moving forward. The other thing that I noticed, and I don't know if it's always been the case or if this is a new update, I didn't see it listed in the updates, is that when you go into the armory and you sell weapons, so for example, take a look at these uh, weapons that I've got here uh, for sale. When you sell those, I don't know if only 60 will do it or not, you actually also gain these prestige points. Uh, so you can see there, I sold 60 of those. I gained an additional point. It's actually a great way to gain those points, which will really come in handy using weapons I'm never going to actually put into combat. I can sell those back and gain much needed prestige points that I can use uh, to add some of these other things like uh, ships or uh, better weapons here. Uh, that's a huge, huge deal and really opens things up for me quite a bit. So uh, with that in mind, I'm taking a much bigger force into this battle this time. So I think that should help a lot and really put us in a good position moving into the next one. All right, so with 20 minutes left in this battle, things have gone significantly better for a couple of reasons. One, of course, is that I have played the mission before, uh, so I know a little better what to expect. Um, I also brought more men which helps and of course uh, learning how to merge units has been very helpful uh, so thank you to those of you there are a few of you who pointed out how to do that you have to just select two units that are of the same type and uh, and just hit this little merge button right here so that kept me from having any really small units that really weren't of any use to me and allowed me to keep to keep units that were bigger in size and made it a lot easier to do things like charge into the enemy like this and eliminate some of those units. So it's gone much, much better. And uh, we should be, assuming all of our units stay intact at the end of the battle, should be in a much better position uh, for the invasion of NASA. Well, there's the bad news. Same thing happened. I'm still missing several of my units after that battle. I have no idea why that's happening. It must be a continued glitch in the game. Remember, this is an early uh, closed alpha, so there's a lot of such glitches to be resolved. Uh, and unfortunately, this one just continues to hurt me a little bit. I do have a two-star Fusilier unit now and some two-star... Um, uh, what are these darn things called? Skirmisher units. Uh, so I'm in better shape anyway than I was last time, but I'm still missing those units. So that is frustrating, but we move on. Okay, so here's what we're going to be able to take into the invasion of Nassau. And uh, I'm a little frustrated, of course, but not a lot I can do about it. I sold some weapons, uh, traded in a few things, sold a ship, and uh, one of my 18 guns, the Independence, and used some of that money to refit the Hancock, uh, to uh, get this HMS Speaker, a 30-gun ship, which I captured. Uh, I bought that from the Admiralty for some of the points that I had available. I uh, got that one fit and ready to go. We're about as maxed out as we can on that one. Uh, so that's all we're going to be able to take into the assault on Nassau. Nassau is going to be a tough order with the minimum number of troops that I have. I have not fought this one yet, but I can see how much you're able to take into it, which communicates to me that a big force is required. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, but we're going to give it our best and hope that's enough. And we're going to take these ships because it looks like we are going to have to take some, uh, take on some naval action in this one at some point. So our fleet is approaching Nassau. I've always wanted to be in the Bahamas, but not like this. A uh, British fleet has been spotted near the harbor. While they initially set course to intercept us, they have wisely retreated to the safety of the bay and are protected by their coastal batteries, which I'm guessing is our target for our infantry. Uh, the British haste to protect their ships has left this beach wholly undefended, an ideal position to land our troops and marshal them for battle. Land your troops and attack this fort. When you have captured the batteries, we can pr proceed with our plan to seize Nassau. 
Until the fort is captured, it'd be wise to keep our ships out of the bay and away from the British fleet. Good luck, Captain. Okay, so uh, first things first, I guess we take the troop ships and we're gonna hug this uh, coastline as much or this uh, border as much as possible, uh, so we can get up there and land our troop, uh, troops. We'll maybe take the take the navy up to about right there, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. We've got everybody parked up here. Let's get them landed on the beach. We're gonna merge these two skirmisher units as soon as we get them on the beach. I've got my my two. Uh, other ships out here just kind of sitting tight. Everybody's just going to hang out while we deal with part one of this mission. Go ahead and slow things down now. Not a lot of men. I'm just really concerned about the lack of forces I'm able to take into this thing. I'm going to merge those two. And one two-star skirmisher unit. At least in theory, that's what should be happening here. So I'm just going to have to try to be cautious, only four units, so I'm going to have to just keep them close and try to hope that what will happen is I run into enemy units one or two at a time and I can just rush them and overwhelm them with my numbers. Otherwise I'm going to have a real problem with this mission. Alright, there's our first contact with the enemy, a little skirmisher force that's going to be really annoying and frustrating because he'll come up and shoot and then just run away and there's no way I'll be able to keep up with them so we're just going to kind of ignore him for now and if he gets too close then I'll turn and fire at him. Okay. So now we've got to deal with artillery up there, so that's going to be an issue. We're going to have to cross this water as quickly as possible. Oh, please don't tell me we're dealing with a glitch. Half of my men are going in the opposite direction. Seems that's what's happening. Maybe we can take them far enough up here that it won't be a, an issue. But we've definitely got to get across and not be sitting under this artillery fire. Oh, come on. No, don't do that. So tired of you guys. I'm gonna deal with this artillery. Double quick, double quick. All right, we 
dealt with the skirmishers. Finally. Lost a lot of men in doing it, though. As soon as we're able, there's a little timer right here that once it ticks down, we can destroy the unit. I'm not going to risk him being able to recapture them. If I can, I'm going to go grab those guns. Got to get these guys to kind of refit and recover, and then we're going to have to march up here and deal with this battery. Checking those timers. It's going to be a little while. I'll probably keep them closer. Alright, I want to deal with these guys. Hopefully, I'm not going to be under too much fire in the meantime. skirmishers. Okay. I don't want to do it with wheel lock because that's my two star unit so I'd, I'm better off to take some rookie units over to do that. So we'll grab these guns. Eliminate these units very soon. I've got to deal with these. I might just have to. Uh, I don't want to split my force. I need everybody together before I march up to deal with them. Because he may have more infantry up there that I can't see. So I've really just got to eliminate these units before I do that. There's no timer, so I mean, I guess there's no reason I can't take my time to do that. And then I'll probably just merge Fife or Elfie with one of these other ones. All right, we eliminated one of those units. We just captured the other one. So now we'll send Hawkins back here while we eliminate these. I'd love to be able to capture them, but I just don't feel secure enough in doing so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send... Oh, where are my skirmishers? That's them. I'm going to send them over to grab these... Uh, Grab these supplies if possible. Skirmisher should be the fastest unit I've got. We'll bring these two over and start getting ready for the attack up the hill here. Oh yeah, you're gonna run. I, I get it. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to capture them without a whole long pursuit that's going to really mess me up. So let's forget that. And let's start marching up the hill. We'll see when we get up there what we're facing. I'm sure we're facing more than just these two batteries at this point. Get these two merged together. I don't want to have a fifty or a seventy-five man unit. Oh, 
Preferably I would have merged them with them, but I can't because they're skirmishers. Now the guns are firing on me now. Oops. They're already merged. Oh yeah, there's infantry up there and artillery. This is going to be interesting. Don't have a, much of a force here. Eliminate them. Okay. So we're not only facing his three infantry units and his artillery unit, but these two batteries are going to probably get turned into infantry. Good news is they don't have experience. The bad news is they're firing on me. So I probably can't stand here and just shoot it out because that artillery is going to be a problem up at close range. My morale and condition are good. Okay, here he comes. Oh, I just lost. Probably my highest ranking officer on the field, the second lieutenant. And now he's got these additional troops that just jump in here. Let's hope we can quickly eliminate these two units. Go after the artillery, and then we can shoot it out. Perfect. Hit the artillery. My artillery's got to switch targets. I just want to eliminate these guys, then we can shoot it out. Condition's good. They're just lo they just lost their officer. That's the only problem there. But men armed with bayonets ought to be able to take out a group of artillery. All right, so the good news is I'll be able to deal with this part. I just don't know how many more men I'm going to have to face in the assault on Nassau itself. I'm hoping they'll send me some reinforcements for that. But I'm also going to have to deal with his fleet. To deal with these these guys. Looks like some Marines. Kill them all. All right, I'm gonna send Wheelock over here now. Try to deal with them, and then we can deal with uh, those guys when they come back. Beautiful. Okay, now what? Captain, the batteries are disabled and the enemy fleet has lost its protection. We can now proceed to march on Nassau. Yeah, what are they going to have there? Enemy has deployed a force at this narrow passage. Another head-on attack will be very costly for our tired troops. Yes. We can use these boats to transfer some of our troops and attack the enemy simultaneously from the front and rear, but he's got ships there. On the other hand, we can halt our advance for a while and use our fleet to attack the enemy ships and clear first the bay. We could lure the enemy near the captured batteries. We can destroy the fleet easily. We should still keep a safe distance, however, from the active battery at the other side of the bay. The choice is yours. Yeah, that's definitely what we're going to do. So step number one is to deal with the enemy. All right, he's got another battery over here. We're going to go deal with that when we lock. So we deal with this enemy, and then we occupy these batteries, and we take on the fleet. Then the question is, do I have enough troops left to actually take NASA at that point? Oh, 
wheelock why are you going that way Oh, there's his supplies. Another unit there. This will be interesting. I'm just going to have so few men left for the assault on NASA. I may have to unload some of my men from the ships after I deal with this fleet. Yes, go up and over that. <laughs> Looks like that's what they're thinking about doing. Oh, I've lost so many men. Okay. Making progress with my tiny little army. Get these two in motion. I guess at the very least I could have probably brought them up and shelled his troops now that they're not occupying the shore battery. Of course, one of the frustrating things so far, uh, as the game's still in early alpha, is the inability to save in the middle of a mission like you can in Ultimate General Civil War. So if for some reason this goes badly and I'm not able to do it, I'm going to have to start all the way at the beginning, and it's a pretty long mission. Possibly use something like Old True Love or Goodwill to board some of those other troops, or those other ships, if they're small enough. Looks like his ships are starting to move. I'm going to come back up here. Okay, 
Okay, time to eliminate the prisoners. Sorry, boys. Not the time or place to be dealing with you. Doesn't look like it's going to let me occupy these batteries. I think he took the guns. Oh, there we go. Now we've just got to get him close enough. What are we dealing with? We're dealing with a small ship. Uh, the biggest one's got 200. Honestly, I could take True Love up there, old True Love up there, and probably capture the HMS Rye that way, or at least take one of the other ones. Where's the wind? I don't even see the compass. Because we're doing a land mission. I guess the wind's going this way. Okay. What's this other ship got? 140. Slow things down. I want to keep one eye on that unit there. Man, I've just got so few troops left to take NASA. I'll definitely have to land some of my troops from these ships as Marines. Gonna need every man. Sixteen <laughs> bounced off. Not close enough. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's go in and see if we can just take Nassau out right off the bat. Or Dover. Where's my other ships? Alright, goodwill. I think I'm just gonna park here for now. We're going to take old True Love up in there. They're going to take a beating from HMS Rye, but then hopefully if we land, we get it just right, we ought to be able to capture it. Yeah, everything's bouncing off. Just too far away. Finish them. All right, HMS Rise in range of the guns now. Fire on him. There we go. Wow, 
Wow, he got turned around in a hurry. This is going to be rather complex. We're trying to capture three ships at the same time. The Rye is going to be the prize that I have the toughest time with. this this way. Too bad. There we go, reporting NASA. That one's taken care of. About to board Dover. There we go. Minimal crew. Basically, got to get both of those ones out of here now. Same with Dover. Let's get them out of here. So far, so good. Now we just have to deal with HMS Rye, and I don't know where they're going right now. There's another shore battery up here. Honestly, if he's if he's going to run, I'm going to let him until I can get the Hancock in position. Ways the wind. It's this way. It's actually toward the shore. So I'm just gonna get these guys going out of here. All right. I guess we've gotta start thinking about the next phase of this mission. So let's head down to the boats. There's not much of a garrison in Nassau. Double quick. All right, that should be the end of them. Yep. Well, 
march them up here for now. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Coming at him from the opposite side. Gonna have one shot at this. Because he's gonna light me up. Old True Love's gonna have thin. But I think we got it. Gotcha. Lovely. Of course, now the question is, yeah, we've got some men we can we can deploy. That'll help a little bit. Okay. So we've captured all the ships. Now let's get away. Actually, we can probably just sit right where we are for now. Cut loose here, guys. All right, there we go. He sent his men over while I was getting organized on the beach. I was sorting out my men, getting everybody kind of uh, merged together, things of that nature. He came right over and hit me. So I wasn't quite prepared for that. in my mind. I'm going to have to go deal with this, that artillery quickly. Save yourselves. Oh, why'd they get rear flanked? Who hit them? I completely shattered those guys. And they were doing well, too. Shattered big time, too. Oh, 
All right, we captured the artillery. much march into Nassau unopposed after this. Only one way to find out. send these two units into Nassau. Adgate's Marines, along with this artillery, ought to be enough to keep these guys at bay. just tick this timer down by taking the town. Assuming there's nobody in there to... HMS Dover was sunk? What? Oh, it oh, got up on the shore, that's why. I had it sitting too close to the shore and it got tore up on the bottom. Lesson learned there. Oh, and there are a ton of men in the town. Oh, jeez. Not a ton, but more than I wanted to deal with. Man, losing those men that disappeared after that last battle is just devastating for being able to handle this one. I could really use those extra troops right now. Secured Nassau. We got ten minutes. All right, we captured that unit. I think we ought to be able to hold on to those guys. Ooh, another unit that I didn't see before. And he's just going to charge right at me, understandably. Tough one. Not much room to spare. 
hoping this is the end of it. As soon as Nassau is secure. Wow, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to have left for this major battle that's about to come up, though. I just got so shattered from that one. That should be the end. Okay, so there we have it. Wow. That was a tough battle. I only lost 77 from my army out of 428. I lost half the uh, folks on my fleet, though. Morris's unit destroyed. Wheelock, Elfie, Bodwin, all heavy casualties. Got some promotions. So that's cool. Got my first major for the land troops. Grabbed a bunch of supplies. That'll help. Captured some guns. That'll help. Captured two more ships. Now we've got a major battle, and I should get my other ship back. Um, I don't know exactly how that works, but I did have that side mission. So let's take a look and see where we are. So we gained 25,000 much needed money for that mission, so that's helpful. But let's look at what troops we have left here after all of that, because I don't really have a lot. Um, there we go. That's what's left of the army after all of that. The good news is we've got a lot of experience. My two uh, skirmisher units were completely shattered. Uh, just not a lot left. So the next mission... Uh, we still don't have. I guess once you do a side mission, they're gone until you hit the next uh, stage. Uh, the next mission is the Battle of Yarmouth. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be able to take into that one. So this is going to be a naval battle and a big one at that. So uh, we're going to have to get everything refit and ready. We don't need to worry about the army at this point. Um, if we strangle Nova Scotia, we strangle Loyalist Supply at the source, sink, capture, or disable this ship. So it's a man of war. <laughs> all right. That'll be fun. Uh, I would very much like to capture it, if at all possible. So we may want to take a big troop ship loaded with men just in case. But uh, let me know your thoughts about all of that, and we'll come back and fight that mission next time. Thanks for watching.